Crematorium Hill was opened in 1930 as a tuberculosis asylum. It was used that way from 1930 until 1966, in which it ceased operations as an asylum, and was bought out by the county and used for office space. Sanatorium Hill really isn't called Sanatorium Hill anymore, that's more of a street name. But what it functions as now and what it's called is Lakeview Park. Um, it's a Dane County Park at this time, which consists of the cemetery behind the woods, uh, woods with some trails behind the Sanatorium Hill building, and there's a church up there, and then as well as the building which is not abandoned, you cannot break into it, it's used as office space, uh, has cameras everywhere, so the ghost hunting experience doesn't come from, you know, walking through an abandoned building or breaking in anywhere, it's, the thrill is looking for the paranormal behind the woods. So as you can imagine, in 36 years history of being a tuberculosis asylum, hundreds of patients died of a horrible, horrible disease, and now it is rumored that the building and the grounds may be haunted. One of the rumors is that bodies from the asylum were burned in some smokestacks out behind the grounds uh, by the boiler room and the water tower. Other rumors consist of seeing orbs and flashing lights in the woods behind the grounds, seeing shadows, spirits, and figures of people who have passed on from dying in the asylum. <laughs> is that there's, there's lights in that building. Um, oh, it's a house over there. <laughs> well, what was that? Ghosts. Close ups. Close ups. Look. What? Close to it. Up to the door. Got me. Shadow. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> you have a cross going up your ass. <laughs> you would no, make a just... joke out of that. It's not a joke, that's what was happening. We didn't see any paranormal activity in the cemetery, but what really kind of wigged us out to begin with was that one of the graves was like freshly dug um, right up next to a headstone, which was last dated in 1996. So I don't think anybody had been buried there recently. You know, a rectangular section of dirt was cut out right behind the headstone and it looked like there was loose fill um, in the spot where that grave should be. Uh, so I don't know what was going on there, but that was the first thing that freaked us out.
we progress on into the woods behind the sanatorium, that's when we first caught our first glimpse of something creepy going on. I was filming and I saw a blinking light flash. I saw it flash a couple times and I panned my camera to it and there was this blinking orb. And it flashed about three times, so I zoomed in and it blinked one more time and then it, it just vanished. And that was inexplicable because A, it was in the foreground, it was down like by the litter, it was down in the trees. It couldn't have been a flashing street light or a city light, those were all in the background, um, as you can see in my comparison. It wasn't in empty airspace, it looked like it was on the ground in front of the trees. So this was something that was nearby, about 100, 150 feet away in the foreground, blinked a few times, flashed and disappeared. And you know, this was the middle of winter, it wasn't a firefly blinking, it wasn't swamp gas, it wasn't any, you know, there was no reflectors, it wasn't a headstone marker, it wasn't anything weird, it was literally an unexplained flashing light. But the creepiest thing that happened to us while we were there was something that we didn't even notice while we were there. ghostly figure or apparition move across the screen. It's in the left corner of the screen on one of the parts that I had shot. And it's unfortunate that I did not zoom in, you know, to really focus on it or really capture it because this was something that none of us saw with our own eyes. None of us noticed that there is this figure. And I can't believe that we wouldn't have noticed it with our eyes behind there. We didn't hear anybody, didn't see anybody. Um, but this is something that only the camera picked up. where it should be hidden, should be blocked by a tree or, or a crate. And then there's portions where this thing just disappears, vanishes into another dimension and cannot be seen. So here's a map I made of our route we took on our ghost hunt. You can see where we drove in, then walked up to the church, 
Behind that was the cemetery where we saw the freshly dug grave. We transitioned from there over to the woods where the trails are and saw the flashing orb. Then on the west side of the sanatorium was where we spotted the figure in the film. And then from there, um, we didn't really see anything over there, but that's where the smokestacks are, where the bodies were supposedly burned. So who or what was ever behind the sanatorium, I guess we'll never truly know if that was a person or a ghost. But what I do know is this. I've shown you all the facts and evidence that we've collected at Sanatorium Hill. I've confirmed the presence of mysterious orbs and blinking lights. I've confirmed the presence of mysterious shadows, ghosts, or people walking behind the buildings. And while I can't confirm or deny that hundreds of bodies were burned on site uh, by the boilers, by the smokestacks, what I do know and firmly believe is that Sanatorium Hill, as described, is haunted. Oh.